In this video, you will learn how to install and set up your VixiBot. VixiBot is a derivative trading robot that trades on MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4 trading platform. In case you don't know me, my name is Tom, aka High Frequency Market Killer 100 pips a day. In this channel, I prove to you that you can make money in the financial market automatically, no matter who you are. If that is your area of interest, Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below. Without further delay, let's dive in. So, after downloading your VixiBot, navigate to the folder in which you downloaded it to. In my case, my own is going to be my download folder. So, click on that file in which you downloaded, right click to copy it. Once you copy it, navigate to your MetaTrader 5 platform. Click on File. Click on Open Data Folder. And when you click on Open Data Folder, navigate to MQL5. Experts. Advisors. And then paste it here. So I'm going to right click and then paste it here. So after pasting it here, I am going to close the tab and then on my MetaTrader 5 platform, click on View and then click on Navigator to view your Navigator. So I'm on my Navigator right now and I'm going to right click on it and click on Refresh. After clicking on Refresh, you are then going to see your VixiBot on your MetaTrader 5 Navigator. Click and hold your VixiBot and drag it to your screen and this is how it goes to appear. So you have to click on Allow DDL Imports. The reason why you will need to allow DDL import is because your VixiBot is actually using external functions. There is an external function called for this, your VixiBot to be work normally. So you have to click on allow DDL import. And after clicking on allow DDL import, click on inputs. When you click on inputs, you are going to see these options here. But before I go ahead and explain what this settings is, let me first of all show you what you have to do as the first step before proceeding. So the first step is that you have to click on tools on your MetaTrader 5. Click on options and then click on expert advisors tab. On this list, you will need to click on allow web requests for listed URL. So you have to tick on this check box. After that, you will need to add this URL these two URL, which is telegram api.telegram.org and as well as this URL. I am going to place this URL on the description of this video. So copy the URL and paste it here. api.telegram.org URL is for, the, for your VixiBot to send you notification on Telegram. And this URL, this second URL is for verification of your VixiBot. So you have to paste these two URL in this tab. After pasting it, click on OK, and then you are done. Congratulations for finishing up step one. So we are now going to navigate to step two, which is going to be the real setting up of your VixiBot and the meaning of the settings of your VixiBot. So in my case, I am going to drag my VixiBot to the chat. Like I said before, you have to click on Allow DDL Import. Then on Input tab, Volume, volume multiplier is the number of times in which you want to increment the minimum trading volume. For example, since your VixiBot is going to trade all symbols, I am going to explain that later on this video. Let's assume that EURUSD is one of the symbols in which your VixiBot is going to trade. So EURUSD minimum trading volume based on your broker is 0 0.01, for example. And if you set your volume multiplier to be 1, it's going to be the minimum trading volume of Euro USDT times 1, which is going to be 0 0.01. But if you set your volume multiplier to 2, it's going to be the minimum trade volume, which is 0 0.01 multiplied by 2, which is going to be 0 0.02. So that is how you set your trading volume, which is your lot size. So the floating loss max tolerance is the amount of floating loss you are able to tolerate. If you set your floating loss max tolerance to 50, it means if you have a floating loss up to 50 USD, 
then your VIX box should stop executing new trade until the floating loss is reduced. That is exactly what it means. If you set it to zero, it means no limit. In that case, your VIX bot will trade as many symbols as you allow it to trade. So the color is the color of the display. You can set any color of your choice. The Telegram ID is where you set your Telegram ID. To get your Telegram ID, you have to navigate to Telegram. When you get to Telegram, search Floronix Trade Alert Bots. So this is the bot I am referring to. Click on the bot and then click on Start. When you click on Start, it is going to re reply with this message. Click on my ID and then copy your Telegram ID from here and then navigate to your VixiBot file, then paste your Telegram ID here. After pasting your Telegram ID, go back to your Telegram and search Floronix iPhone VixiBot. This is the specific bot. Click on it and click on start. This is not going to reply any message because the bot is not hosted yet, but you have to click on start to prompt the bot to send you notification. That is it. And the license key is where you are going to impute your license key. To get your license key, click on the link on the description of this video. The magic number is the ID of this your Vixie bot. To uh, differentiate the trade that was executed by this your Vixie bot, you will have to use the magic number. If at any given point you have different trades on your MetaTrader 5, you have to check which trade was executed with Vixie bot using this magic number. So you can set any magic number here. You can decide to leave it on the default magic number. The take profit is in percentage. If you leave it to zero, it means your VixiBot is going to set take profit and stop loss automatically. But if you set the percentage, for example, I might say when the price gets to 0.5%, that is where I want to set my take profit. But if I don't want to set take profit manually, I can leave it to zero and VixiBot will set take profit automatically. So this is where you select the disable symbols. Remember I said I am going to explain the area of trading symbols. The trading symbols in which you are going to allocate to your VixiBot are the ones available on the market watch. So if you don't want your VixiBot to trade symbols that are available on the market watch, you have to right click on that symbol on market watch and click on hide. Because your VixiBot is going to trade all the symbols that is available on the market watch. So let's assume you only want to trade some few symbols. In that case, you have to right click on your market watch and click on hide all. When you click on hide all, you can see that it is not all the symbols that is going to hide from the market watch. So in that case, you have to specify the symbols in which you don't want to trade on your Vixie bot. That is why you will see this option on this input, disable symbols. So you have to input the symbol. Let's assume I don't want to trade this symbol known as BA. In that case, I will have to input BA here with comma separated values. So let's assume I still don't want to trade this symbol known as GBP and OK. In that case, I will have to put GBP and OK and then separate with comma. I can also input the symbols in which I don't want my Vixie bot to trade. You can also click on this click to add button to add the symbol in which you want your Vixie bot to trade. The other deviation is like slippage. It means if at any given point your Vixie bot is unable to execute trade on the current price in which it was intended to execute the trade, then your Vixie bot can also execute trade. 100 points above the price or below the price based on the direction of the trades. Max trade per trend is the number of trades in which your Vixie bot can execute when it finds a trend. For example, let's assume that Vixie bot finds this to be an uptrend. So immediately it detects an uptrend, it will execute trade one when it finds a buy signal and trade two when it finds another buy signal. That's exactly what that point. The same thing is applicable to downtrend. The technical algo is a settings in which you are not allowed to change. 
Otherwise, I give you instruction to modify these settings. Do not touch these settings. Leave it on the default. So after setting up all these parameters, click on OK. Once you see this text, it means your VixiBot is now running. It is recommended to run your VixiBot on the H1 time frame. But if at any given point there are modifications or updates on the time frame, then I am going to update you on the Discord channel. And there's going to be a link on the description of this video. Click on that link to join the Discord channel. That is it for setting up your VixiBot. If this type of content makes sense to you and you like to be seeing this type of content, please click on the subscribe button, like this video and comment down below.